and welcome back to Visit Fell Coast. We're in sunny Blackpool today. You're never going to believe it. It stopped raining. <laughs> Just for five minutes, probably. Um, but it's Thursday. Thursday the... I'm just trying to think what date it is. Let me have a look. Just talk among yourselves for a second while I just have a look at my phone and see what date it is. Thursday the 11th of April. So we're in town and we're going to go and have a look round and we're going to see what's happening. But first, jobs first. I'm off to make a Friday food review video for you. So check back tomorrow if you've got your notifications enabled and whatnot and you'll be able to see where I'm going for my lunch because I'm really hungry and I'm really looking forward to this one and of course it's still the Easter holidays here in Blackpool um, and it's very busy I think everybody's come out while it's not raining <laughs> so don't forget make sure that you're subscribed make sure that you've hit the notifications hit the bell and don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter so let's go and see what we can find shall we That's a sign of the times, look. The guy's back out selling his wiggly, one pound, snaky things. And I don't know whether you saw it or not the other day, but the howling hurricane that was blowing had blown one of the signs. I don't know whether she's actually blown it off or whether it was hanging precarious on the side of the um, Sands building. This, of course, is the new Showtown Museum, which you enter on that corner there, if you saw my my vlog of the media launch and it looks like they're out mending it <laughs> it's in a bit of a in a bit of a spot for the weather as you might say so it's about half past 12 and high tide today is at half past one and it's already a bit blowy it's not like it was on tuesday on tuesday it was enough to blow you off your feet I do believe, I do believe that's a little bit of sunshine. Wow, sir. Look, sunshine. And I'm going to give you a clue where this week's Friday food review is. I'm off in there. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Um, make sure that you've got your notifications enabled and you'll be able to find out what I had and, and what I thought to it. And when I come out today, we'll carry on, we'll carry on this video and carry on looking round. Oh, just one thing to mention. We've got a competition running until the 17th of April to win four two-day passes for Merlin, for the Merlin attraction. So that will get you up to the top of the tower. It will get you into the circus. It will get you into Madame Tussauds, Peter Rabbit, all that kind of thing. So all you need to do is enter online. I'll pop the link underneath the video and then you can find it easily. Right, without any more of ado, I'm going to go and have my dinner. I'm hungry. Well, it's half past one now. I'm still fixing the signs, look. I finished my lunch. I have to say, that was rather nice. You'll have to tune in on Friday at tea time for this week's Friday food review. I've come out of there. I'm all dressed up for winter. I've got my, I've got my coat on, my thick cardigan. I've got my scarf on, my southwester, my thermals, and the sun's come out. It's absolutely beautiful. What a lovely day! All at once. Let's see what time it is. It's oh, it's two o'clock. So tide's just about turned but it's high look it's a high one let's go up to the edge and have a have a see um it's not been coming over today but the the wind's dropped it was quite blowy this morning quite blowy and now it's uh, it's dropped markedly oh that is just gorgeous just look at that just look at it twinkling that is just lovely. Now just imagine a 50 mile an hour wind at the back of that. Look how high it is. It's a 10.3 I think today. So it's one of the highest tides of the year, what's known as a spring tide. 
And imagine putting a strong wind at the back of that and it will be over. Over the piers, over the pram, over everything. Just lovely. Beautiful. And look at the sun. That's just gorgeous. Well, I wouldn't have believed this weather if I'd not seen it for myself. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful it is. At least we've got one day of better weather to end these holidays on. It's quite busy actually. There's loads of fuck about. So I've got, I've got another interesting assignment this afternoon on my list of jobs today in Blackpool. I am going to da, 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 da. I am going to have a preview around the new um go on holiday in that's where I'm going this afternoon I've got an appointment I've got an appointment for a 26 penny tour so of course I shall be taking all you lovely people with me that's if we can ever get across the road <laughs> <laughs> Which is another matter altogether. They're still fastening the signs on, look. So we're going to go and have a, a preview look around um, and make a, make a video. So that'll be interesting. And that opens on the 1st of May. So we're going to have a, we're going to have a walk through Blackpool and uh, see what's happening today. Apparently, apparently Short Town's been doing really well. It's had lots of visitors in its first few weeks of opening. So if you want to go in there, you just buy a ticket and it's £15 for adults, but you can go back as many times as you want to do. It's like a membership. You can go back as many times as you want to do in a year. And if you're a Blackpool resident and you pay your council tax to Blackpool, you can actually get in for free. So there's no reason for you to, to miss it and not go. Sounds like uh, Poundlands is on fire. Got the alarm ringing. Shame we missed him. It's a busker there, look. Goodness, look how different it is. Just because the sun's come out. This is the problem when it's uh, a seaside resort and it's so exposed to the weather. It's a pain in the neck, the weather. Now, when I'm on, look at these here. Blackpool's, Blackpool's least wanted. When I'm on here, I always feel obligated to do that and look up the tower. Windy Bankhead Street looking a little bit less windy than normal. It looks like seagulls are in this year. In Blackpool, you can have a big stuffed seagull for 25 quid or a smaller one for 15. It's a good shop, this. Essentials for all your household needs. Everything that you've forgotten to bring on holiday with you, you can get in there. Used to be WH Smith's, that one. And I noticed these on my way past as well. There's some little seagulls in here. Are you ready? Are you ready, look? This is new. I think this is one of them pop-up stops shops Stephen the seagull there you go they're nice them aren't they I quite like one of them I think I might I think I might have to invest in one of them shall we have one eating a chip one eating a chip or one eating a burger which one do you like best I think I think the chip looks a little bit more obvious doesn't it I think we'll have a chip one or you could have a sloth. What about a sloth? Could get one of them for Kevin. Ooh, look, Transformers. My grandma used to watch that. I've got absolutely no idea why, but she did. She used to watch it. It's not a bad shop, that. It's obviously a, a pop-up shop for the season, I would say. But it's a good use of a shop unit. There you go, look. I've got my own Stephen the Seagull. 
might even I might even do a competition with Stephen the Seagull. So if you make sure that you've subscribed and you've hit the bell for notifications, I might do a competition and then you'll get um, notified. Is that new? The real Vegas? I wonder if that's anything to do with our pals at Viva. That looks like a new sign to me because this was the, I think this was the EE shop. Modern and retro slots. Oh no, I don't think it is. I'll go and ask him, shall I? Modern and retro slots, he says. We'll go and see what we can find out. Um, yeah, it was the 3E shop back in the day. And then Club 3000 Bingo borrowed it for a little while as a pop-up shop when they were um, recruiting for people when they were opening their their new one and this is the shop this is the corner this one here where you would have gone for a bit and this is where you went for your most code test when you were in the war and that's where the expression comes from didn't know that did you all quiet now but this is the inside of viva and these lilies smell absolutely gorgeous so i've just had a little chat with ryan did you say yeah. ryan i did well there i just had a little chat with ryan and apparently it's going to be a, an amusement arcade and it's nothing to do with Viva so the the slots is the slots is slots is nothing to do with Viva but if you want a, a really good show and a good night out that's where you that's where you book for your tickets or of course you can also book online and there's all kinds of season shows they do their own in-house shows which a uh, kind of uh, coming back on stream now from Easter onwards and they also have loads of visiting shows as well. Do you want another look at the tower? There you go. We've well, always got to take a picture from this spot. Well, 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 well. I've had the full two and six penny tour. I've been in the bedrooms. I've been in the dining room. I've been in my lady's parlour. But I'm not allowed to show you yet. Sorry. Sorry, Flory. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer. As I said, it opens on the 1st of May and we're not allowed to show any images until it's actually open to the public. Um, so yeah, I've been right up there in the, in the new bedrooms and it's a fabulous view and it's so quiet. So quiet, you can't hear anything outside. Not, not a noise. You'd have a fabulous night's sleep in there. I think we'll go down and have a nosy at the, at the underpass, actually. So this is the access into the underpass down here at the side of Blackpool North. So you, you come out of the railway station and you come underneath this little underpass, underneath High Street, underneath the hotel to the tram stop. And it sounds like that's going to be open as soon as as soon as they can get it open um, this summer but the council as I said are keeping tight lipped about when it's going to actually happen so I take it I take it they've not got to a point yet where they can actually set a date so I thought we'd go this way it's a long time since I came around this corner I thought we'd go this way and we'll go and take a look at the site from this side just pausing to, to show you this one. That's been completely rebuilt, and I mean completely rebuilt. Luxury station apartment. I don't know whether the holiday lets or whether the permanent accommodation, but I'll tell you something, they look a damn sight better than they did before. Because that building was just about derelict. And this is it from the other side. So this is where the tram stops. There's a door into the Holiday Inn in this corner down here. So in this in this corner here, where are we? This one here. That's into um, the actual end of. Oh, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. I think I might have got the wrong door. Yes, I've got the wrong door. It's this one here. This this double door goes into the Holiday Inn, so you can use that to go up into 
the reception area and the, the, the line, the tram line stops literally at the door of the hotel. So it's all, it's all coming together. It's all coming together in a clatter. All these fences are in the way. It's gonna look really posh. It looks exactly like the artist's impression. Posh, isn't it? And this is gonna be car parking in the area around the site. It's gonna be Blackpool Council pay and display. That's the Grundy Art Gallery, just down there. And straight down into Blackpool Town Centre. I think I've had enough now, to be honest. Um, confession time. <laughs> I went flying yesterday in the back garden. I did the blackbird. Chipper in at the magpie. The magpie keeps coming after its nest. And I did it going dee, 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 in the in the garden. So I went out to shout at the magpie and show it off and make it get away from the blackbirds and its babies and its nest. And I went up in the air and down on my bum. Oh, and it did hurt. <laughs> and my right, my left hip, my left hip's bad enough to start with, and it's really hurting now. So. I think I've had enough for one day. I think I'm going to go home now and uh, put my, my elderly aching legs up. <laughs> I don't know what she like. In my defence, Your Honour, the path was very slippy. It was very wet. And I've got my garden shoes on and there's not a lot in the way of tread on the bottom of them. So I slipped on the algae on the path in, in all reality. Not just because I'm getting very old and I can't stand up straight. So, to be honest, I got away lightly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed listening to listening to me puffing like an old woman. Um, don't forget, make sure that you subscribe to make sure that you hit the little bell, sorry, for notifications. Don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye for now.